Let's consider the problem of solving the system of linear equations in the form of ax is equal to the b. In this case, we would like to solve this using the determinants. So let's consider the t by t case, and then we can generalize this idea for the bigger systems. So let's say our matrix is a11, a12, a21, a22. So we need to multiply this to some vector x1 and x2, and this should be equal to b1 and b2. So basically, this matrix is given, this vector is given, I just need to find this vector, or basically its components x1 and x2. So in order to apply the determinant for the system, for this equation, I need to have the matrix on the left and matrix on the right. So while here, I don't have the matrices. So this is the vector. The matrix multiplication of this vector to the, is a vector. And this is also a vector. So in order to make this a matrix, I'm going to artificially add a column to here. So I'm going to add this here to be equal to the 0 and 1. So since I add this, I need to add the column to here as well, so in order to have the same equation as before. So I'm going to multiply this matrix to this one as this matrix multiplied to the every column of this matrix. If you multiply the A matrix to the first column, x vector, it's going to be the B, and it's already here. If you multiply the A matrix to the second column, you need to look to this as the multiplication of the columns of this matrix to the entries of this uh, column. So the first column is going to multiply to the 0, second column is going to be multiplied to the 1. It means that the A multiplied to the second column is equal to simply the second column of the A, which is going to be A12, A22. So now we can apply the determinant. So basically, so since this equation is equal to this one, so which is pretty much the same as the equation of the AX is equal to the B, the determinant of this multiplication should be equal to the determinant of this matrix. So we know that the determinant of the A multiplied to the B is equal to the determinant of the A multiplied to the determinant of the B. So using this property, we're going to just open the brackets here. So it's going to be determinant of this matrix, which is simply A, multiplied to the determinant of this matrix, which is x1, 0, x2, and 1, is equal to the determinant of this matrix. So B1, B2, A1, 2, a T T. So let's find the determinant of this matrix. So this is the lower triangle matrix, and its determinant is going to be the multiplication of its diagonal entries. And this is going to be the determinant of the A multiplied to the X1 is equal to the determinant of so this matrix I'm going to call as a B1. So from here we can find that X1 is equal to the determinant of B1 divided to the determinant of A. So please note that we obtain this B1 by substituting the first column of this matrix A with this vector B. So if you substitute the column, first column of the A with this vector B, you'll obtain exactly this B1 vector. So now we need to obtain the X2, and we're going to use the same idea as before. So let's say we've got the same matrix, A11, A12, A21, A22. And we're going to multiply this to the x1 and x2, and this should be equal to b1 and b2. So I'm going to write this down now in this way. So I'm going to write this as a 1, 0, x1 and x2. And this is equal to the first, so if you multiply this matrix to the first column, it is going to be the first column of this matrix, or simply a11, a21. If you multiply this matrix to the second column, it's going to be simply the b, since ax is equal to the b b1 and b2. So if you take the derivative the determinants from both of the sides, so the determinant of this one is going to be determinant of the a. So the determinant of this matrix is equal to the simply x2, since this is these, the upper triangular matrix, its determinant is the multiplication of its diagonal entries, and this is going to be the determinant of so-called b2. So where the B2 is obtained by substituting the second column of this matrix A with the right-hand side vector B. So from here we can obtain the xt, which is equal to the determinant of the B2 divided to the determinant of the A. So let's consider an example. So I would like to solve the system of linear equations 3 to tx1 minus 6xt is equal to 1. 3x1 minus 4xt is equal to the 5. So first of all, we need to write a system in a matrix form. It's going to be t minus 6, 3 minus 4. 
multiplied to the x1 and x2 is equal to 1 and 5. So this is our A matrix. This is the x vector, and this is equal to the B vector. So in order to find x1 and x2, we need to just use this formula and this formula. So we need to find a determinant of so-called matrix B1, determinant of the B2, and determinant of the A. So let's find, first of all, determinant of the A. So this is going to be 2 minus 6, 3 minus 4. And this is going to be 2 multiplied to the minus 4, which is minus 8, minus 3 multiplied to the minus 6, which is minus 18, or simply plus 10. So determinant of the B1 is equal to the determinant of the matrix, which is obtained by substituting the first column of this matrix A with the vector B. So which is going to be 1, 5, minus 6, minus 4, and this is equal to the minus 4, minus 5 multiplied to the uh, 6, it's going to be minus 30, or simply 26. So the determinant of the matrix B2 is equal to the determinant of the matrix, which is obtained by eliminating or substituting the second column of this matrix A with this B vector. So let's substitute this. This is going to be 2, 3, 1, and 5. So its determinant is equal to the 10 minus 3, or simply 7. So the x1 is equal to the determinant of the b1 divided to the determinant of the a is equal to 26 divided to the 10, or 2.6. And determinant of the b2 divided to the determinant of the a gives us the x here, and this is equal to 7 over 10 or 0 0.7.